Stevenson wins a sixth straight Mac Commonwealth Championship, defeating Widener 12-6 here tonight at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, and the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene, hold for you to uh, find yourself conference champions. <laughs> no, not at all. You know, the guys did a great job, and I told them who to, thought we would have got to this point after losing those first five games of the season and uh, losing all those defensemen. And uh, to get to where we are now is really kind of a miracle. The guys have done a great job buying into what we need to do, especially defensively. I thought the first half today was one of our best, you know, best defensive efforts we gave all year. They did an unbelievable job getting out on those guys, contesting everything, and really, you know, did a great job right up to the last few minutes when we subbed a little bit and they got a couple goals at the end. You know, I thought our guys did great. You know, it was really great to see us play defense like that. We're coming around and gelling, and offensively, you know, if you shoot the ball a little bit better, their goalie doesn't have like 16, 17 saves. It could be a little bit different. He had some 16 or 17 quality saves. So it's great to, to win another one here, and the guys are really proud of them, and uh, he never gets told to win championships, that's for sure. And the guys couldn't be more excited, and I'm really excited for them. And we can't wait to see we play tomorrow night and get ready for on on Wednesday. So you've talked about your defense. Is there, did you do anything differently tonight in your defensive scheme than you normally do? Well, yeah, you don't I mean, want to give we, any secrets. We, well, no secret. I don't think there's any secret. We, but we wanted to make the we wanted not their knowns to beat us. You know, we made it really hard for 32 and 44 to get the ball. There, two of their better players, 44, had four goals against us the first time, and we knew about him. And 32 is their best, you know, uh, playmaker. And we really made it hard for him to get the ball, shut him off a little bit, shut 44. And I think that they really put a lot of pressure on them to not make their other players beat you. And I just didn't think they could. And I think we did a great job with Austin and. Kyle. Costco and Chaz are poles, and they just did such a, such a great job getting in there. And Kevin McCarthy was great tonight, you know, just making really uh, them hard. And I thought the biggest part is just getting a piece of them in every shot. They didn't have any clean looks, and I think that was the biggest reason we got. And Sam made the saves we needed to early on, and we were able to get them. And then they got a little frustrated at the end and started shooting the ball over the place. It made it a little bit easier for us. You know, you mentioned uh, what happened eight days ago. This is a one-goal game and a, a team that really gave you fits. And they've they've battled you the last couple yeah. of years. You know, they've been close. Two-goal game a year ago in the regular season. Yeah. Double overtime going back two years. I don't want to say need because obviously you just need to be whoever you played. But does it is it does it feel better to have gotten them again in the championship game and to deliver yeah. this type of performance? Well, I think it always you know last year you know we played um, the same thing happened with Albright and we had a close 16-14 game in the regular season with them I think last year and then uh, and then we beat them pretty handily in the championship game. Widener you know they played us really tough last year and then we beat them 18-2 in the semifinals. And so I think once we get a chance, Tim does such a great job defensively, really changing things and understanding, and we're able to change things in offense that we think that we see to help us out and I think that had a lot to do with it you know I was playing so clean in the first half only four turnovers you know and really getting some quality tough goals that put a lot of pressure on them to play to play better than they could and I think that we just did a good job with that and, and now you know we get a chance to continue to play and I think the biggest thing for our guys is that you want to practice on Monday you know that's the biggest thing you want to keep practicing and we want to practice on Thursday you know then we want to practice on Monday again you know you just want to keep the team together if you're practicing good things are happening and I think our guys still want to practice and we're very happy with what we happened and uh, we'll see who we draw and whether we travel or at home who knows, but uh, I think we're just happy, and I'm really proud of all the guys, especially Drew, who you'll talk to in a minute. Yeah. You know, Drew came into my office in mid-year. What do I have to, early in the season? What do I got to do to play? He's just a little frustrated that he wasn't playing because, you know, we had three pretty other good defensemen playing a lot, and it's told me you just got to keep working hard, and then when you get your moment, you know, you, you'll help us. You're going to be a time you help us, and he's got his moment, and he's played great ever since. So I think he's really happy with it, and uh, we're happy that he's playing so great for us right now. Of course, that's Andrew Costco, who is tournament MVP. All right, before we let you go, Coach, just wrap, what, what needs to still improve now as you go into the NCAA? Well, I didn't think in the second half he did a great job. I thought we got a little, and offensively, I thought we just settled a little bit for things and got some sloppy turnovers. I think we got to play 60 minutes of offense still a little bit. But uh, defensively, we did a good job. And, uh, you know, Justin didn't have one of his greatest days, but in the first half, but he bounces back and wins the day overall, the faceoff battle. And that's going to happen as a faceoff guy. You're not always going to be 80% every day. And, you know, I know I've been through a lot of those bad days, but <laughs> I told I told Justin the only faceoffs that matter are the faceoffs in the second half. And that's really true. What I always believe in facing off is the ones in the second half. So even though he didn't have a great day, uh, he'll, he'll bounce back with a strong day on Wednesday. We know he will because he's that kind of kid, and uh, and uh, he'll be great. So you know, there's, there's always things you can improve on, but you know, for us, it's more of a team win by team concept. We can't rely on individuals to carry us. We got to win by team. Nine of thirteen in the second half, by the That's way. A good day. Heading. That's a good coach. Day. Congratulations on another title, and we will see you wherever it is on Wednesday night. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. He is Coach Paul Cantabene.